Hi. So we're going to talk today about vasectomy. Um, we probably already spoke in the office since you're watching this video now. But we'll go quickly over what a vasectomy is and risks and benefits of vasectomy so that if you have any questions, hopefully this will answer your questions. It's going to be really a similar spiel to what we talked about in the office. So basically what a vasectomy is, is there's two tubes that go from the testicles to the penis uh, and they carry the sperm. Um, the sperm actually make up about 5% of the ejaculate. The rest of it comes from the prostate and the seminal vesicles. So what we do is we cut those two tubes and burn either end so they don't reconnect. Uh, it stops the flow of semen in uh, the flow of sperm into the semen. Um, but you really don't notice anything in terms of seminal volume because 95% of it comes from elsewhere. Uh, my method, I don't use a scalpel. It's a single poke in the skin. Uh, there are no clips or stitches, um, nothing dissolvable, but no, no clips left inside of you. Um, the success rate is over 99%. Takes me about 10 minutes. I've done probably 500 of these. I was doing these actually before I was a urologist in the Navy. Um, and then, you know, since then, so I've been doing this since, since 2012. Um, so as far as risks go, um, anytime we do any procedure, there's a risk of bleeding and infection. Um, so the risk of a bleed is 1%. When you get the procedure, you'll go home and if you look down, everything's gonna look kind of normal. You may not feel anything at all because there'll be numbing medicine. Um, the next day, you know, there are, is going to be some swelling and bruising. That's normal. Um, but when we talk about the 1% chance of bleed, we're talking about, you know, a surgical bleed where your scrotum blows up like a big purple grapefruit. Um, and in that case, we would need to probably make an incision and get the clots out of there and find whatever's bleeding. Um, and that would be under a general anesthesia in the operating room. Um, but that's a 1% chance. And then the risk of infection is actually even lower. Uh, the risk is so low that we don't give antibiotics for this procedure. And that's because the antibiotics wouldn't lower the risk any further. They would just make the infections that do happen resistant to antibiotics. Uh, that being said, infections do happen. Usually the, the way that they present is your pain is getting better after the procedure, and then five to seven days later, your pain starts to get worse again, um, maybe associated with a little bit of swelling. We give some antibiotics and it goes away. Very much more rare would be like a pus that we'd have to drain out in the operating room. That's extremely rare. Um, so that's bleeding and infection. Risk specific to the procedure are chronic pain and failure. Um, so the risk of failure is 1%, uh, less than 1%, as I previously spoke about. Um, the definition of failure is live swimming sperm, um, over a certain count six months after your vasectomy. Um, so more common, um, you know, you do need to get a semen analysis three months after the vasectomy to prove that you are sterile before you can be considered, you know, protected in that way. Uh, by the way, this doesn't protect against STDs or anything like that, simply pregnancy. Um, so you do need to get that semen analysis to prove that you are sterile. I would say about 10% of the time, you know, here, down here in Florida, you know, mostly what we're doing is centrifuge specimens um, to see if there is a single sperm left. Um, and so uh, usually, you know, 10% of the time you can see like that result come back, like rare dead sperm, like there was a dead sperm. Uh, and in that case, we would repeat the a semen analysis and usually in a month or so it goes away. Uh, but a failure usually is like, oh, there's a bunch of sperm, you know, on the center for your specimen. And that continues. And then finally, we would set you up for a, a fresh semen analysis where, you know, the one that you'll do, almost certainly the only one you'll have to do is the one at home that you generate yourself, bring it in, they look at it. A fresh semen analysis is one that we have to get scheduled. You have to generate the specimen right there, like in the bathroom. And then there is a laboratory technician that like hustles it over to look under the microscope to see if you have swimmers. And in that case, if you did have like greater than 100,000 swimmers and, you know, that's okay. It's a failure. And um, in that case, 
the recommendation would be to repeat the vasectomy. Um, I've had to do that once and, you know, that would be done in the operating room. And instead of just like cutting and burning, we'd be taking out, you know, chunks of the vas to try to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Um, so that's the risk of failure. There is also a risk of uh, pregnancy, uh, paternity, actually, uh, that's been published. Just so you know, it's the lowest risk you're going to read about for any form of contraception, but it is a one in 2000 lifetime risk of paternity after a vasectomy with a negative semen analysis afterwards. So it's not zero, but it's exceedingly low. The last risk is the one that I kind of worry about the most. It's still rare. It's a 5% risk, and that is chronic pain. Uh, you know, it's usually in younger men, um, I've found anecdotally, and it's usually from doing too much too soon. Um, it's about 5% chance. So uh, I recommend that you take 72 hours after the vasectomy, just hang out at the house. Actually, like the best time is March Madness. Uh, you know, get your vasectomy done in the morning on Thursday or on Wednesday, and then just spend that whole weekend looking at 64 teams, you know, beat each other up all weekend. Uh, you really should just do what you need to do to get around the house, um, microwave and some food, go to the bathroom, but nothing really strenuous for 72 hours. And then I say two weeks of light duty. Um, that's just kind of what I started doing with the Marines and the Marine Corps. Uh, you know, they're either full duty or light duty and full duty for an active duty Marine is a lot. Um, so certainly after two weeks, you can do whatever you want. Um, but I would recommend, you know, no hitting the gym and lifting heavy, no, uh, major like running or really strenuous activity for two weeks. Um, I, you know, usually, you know, I say no pool or anything, submerging it for two weeks. Um, cause I, that's one way that you can get a nasty infection that I just would rather, Play it safe, wait two weeks before you go in the tub of the pool. Um, otherwise, so what happens with the uh, chronic pain is that you do something too soon. And that causes you pain in your scrotum. The problem is that the, pain, the nerves that go to the scrotum run through the pelvic floor muscles. They're kind of like a diaphragm that sit at the bottom of your pelvis. And they run through it down into the scrotum. Um, so if you have pain in your scrotum, those muscles tighten up and those nerves get irritated more, which causes more pain, which causes more tightening, which causes more pain. And you get this vicious feedback loop, which, you know, then takes three to six months to resolve, usually with some physical therapy. Eventually it does usually go away, but it can be really difficult to deal with. So um, that's a 5% chance, but you really do avoid it in general if you just take it easy. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, again, it's about a 10 minute procedure. Um, usually guys don't need anything in terms of like oral medicines for relaxation. Um, that way you can drive yourself to and from the appointment. I, I drove myself to and from Miami, uh, which in retrospect probably wasn't that great of an idea, but you know, if you have a 15 minute car ride, then, uh, you're fine. Um, and otherwise, you know, if you do want something, certainly uh, a Valium would be totally appropriate and fine. We can get you that. Uh, just make sure that you do need a ride to and from the appointment if that happens. And that's it. Have a wonderful day.